Hi everyone, this video is going to be for swatches and a first impressions of Sephora's Gem and the Holograms collection. This collection is coming out sort of in conjunction with the movie and it has three or I guess four or five parts but three main parts that are makeup color makeup based and those are the three that I will show you in this video. It is, is currently available through Sephora online and I will put a link in the description box to where you can find it. Please also see the description box if you want to see links to the reviews for each of these products after I fully test them out. Whereas in this video, I'll just swatch them for you so you can see the colors and give you first impressions. All right, make sure you check out my latest video and make sure you're subscribed so that you can be eligible for the giveaways that are always running on this channel. And let's get into looking at Sephora's Gem and the Holograms collection. So first up we have the Gem and the Holograms Truly Outrageous Eyeshadow Palette and this retails for $39. This flips open, it closes via a magnet and you can see this sort of glitterized uh, case. There is a full length mirror, full size mirror and you get 24 eyeshadow shades total. And you also have this holographic pattern here. So I will swatch these by row from left to right and just a quick view of the shades up close. I'll let you know the names as I am swatching them. So from the first row we have Minx, which is a very soft champagne. Next is Raya, which is a soft pale pink. Next is Gal Pal, which is a matte cream. Next is Clash, which is a shimmering off-white. Hologram, which is a glittery, very pale silver. And Starlight, which is a matte white. Okay, so there is row one from the eyeshadow palette. All right, from the second row, we have Mrs. Bailey. This is a sort of tangerine with a gold, almost duochrome effect. Kimber is a medium rose pink. Rockstar is a dusty grape purple. Rockin' Roadster is an aquamarine. Synergy is a medium silvered gray. And Cassette is a metallic silver. And unless I specify otherwise, these all have finishes that are shimmering and metallic. All right, there is row two of the eyeshadows. Row three, we start with Stinger. This is a medium golden brown. Jerica, it's a bold fuchsia. 1980s, it's a medium purple. This has a really strange texture. Okay, I cleaned off my brush again. Let's, yeah, I don't know what, this is so bizarre. It just like kind of crumbles. Keytar is a really bright, almost like neon -y grass green. Rio is a very bright teal. And Stormer is a medium blue. All right, here's row three. And I forgot to mention, as always, these are swatched over primer. And row four, we start with Jetta. This is a medium milk chocolate brown with a matte finish. Gemstar is a deeper plum with lighter purple glitter. Shayna is more of a medium to deep grape purple with lighter purple glitter. Pizzazz. It's sort of like a silvered grayed green. I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Asia? It's spelled A-J-A. -A. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comment below. Is a medium cobalt blue. And last is Mits Misfits, which is a matte black. All right, and there is row four of the eyeshadows. Next up, we have the Truly Outrageous Liquid Lip Set. This is $25. The shade is Fashion and Fame, Like a Dream, Music is Magic, To the Rescue, and She's Got the Power. So here's Fashion and Fame. This is a holographic color. It has violet and silver and pink, Like a Dream, 
is a creamy mauvey pink. Music is Magic. Is a bright magenta. Or fuchsia. To the rescue is a deep mauvey rose. And she's got the power is a deep grape purple. Okay, here's what those shades look like after they have dried down. And last up is the Truly Outrageous Lipstick, which costs $16. And here's what the shade looks like up close. All right, and here's what the shade looks like. This is a medium fluorescent pink. It looks like it has sort of a violet flash to it also. So there you can see it up close. All right, so there you have the Gem and the Holograms collection from Sephora. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. I actually kind of like the uh, liquid lipsticks set. I think that the colors are pretty good. The grape one doesn't apply so evenly, uh, but the rest do. The eyeshadow palette definitely has a mixture of slightly different formulations, so a few of the colors are a little chalky and powdery, and again, I need to test them out, actually apply to the lids to really give you a conclusory um, decision on what I think about the quality. And I like that the pink lipstick actually has that purple or violet iridescence to it. it, gives it a little more uniqueness than just having that very common bright pink color. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, and if you liked it, as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Independently launch on Urban Decay's website, so if it's not available right now, this day, it will be soon, don't worry. Um, but Cliff Notes thought, thoughts. The formulation of these pigmentation smoothness are very similar to the ones in the Kat Von D palette. 